burn, baby, burn. Welcome back to Anyverse. I'm just going around exploring. Remember last time I went north and east? This time I decided to go south, just a little bit away from the spawn area. It's like on the other side of that mountain. And I happened to be running along, just hopping around, looking through, around in the spruce forest. And over there, you can kind of see it, is a mansion. There is a mansion here. Which is just amazing and so close and I didn't need a cartographer and I love it and yeah and I didn't bring a bed and it's starting to get dark but a mansion a freaking mansion it's crazy so I'm gonna go run on over there and see what it looks like oh it's dark oak forest that makes sense because I think all the mansions are in dark oak if I'm correct in my thinking um, how am I going to get up here, though? Let's just dig up the trees. Chop it down with, like, some zombie flesh. I'm afraid to go inside because mobs and because I don't have any torches. I have nothing. I have a pick and a sword and some wood and such. I had to fight a spider at night. But there was a thing I saw in here. Let me go back to where I was. There was a really interesting thing. I think there might be a spider spawner in here. I don't know if spider spawners can show up in mansions, but it looks like one. Either that or a room just full of webs. Because look at that room right there. Why are there webs in that room? What is in this house? And plus there's evokers and illagers and such. I'm afraid. But I want to go in. Maybe we'll just pop in and take a look and then go back. Oh, there's torches outside. Let's take one of those or a few. Because with Optifine, we can have it nice and kind of like right. What do we have over here? Oh boy. Oh, there's a baby zombie. Where's the baby? I don't want to deal with a baby. Nothing here. Oh boy. I'm scared. I'm scared of this mansion. What the heck? Oh hey, zombie. I hear a baby. I see a baby. I'm running from a baby. Baby zombies are the worst things. They are the worst. I hate these things. Come here. There's two of them. Oh boy. There's three of them. Ah! <laughs> no, no, no. Leave me alone. Abort, abort, abort. We're out. We're out. We're leaving. Help us, cow. We're going to use the daylight as our ally. Just to let those guys burn. Oh boy. Can I make this jump? Yes. Oh gosh. That was insane. Hopefully they can't get up here. My one last piece of food. That's all I have. That's not good. There's more ice and desert and stuff. That's pretty cool. What is that? Oh, it's a boat. Very, very neat. But let's see what we can find just by looking in the windows. So we have, oh gosh, what is that? It's not like an evoker person. I can't remember what they're called. I never really go into mansions. Oh boy. Hi. Nice warning sound. I appreciate it. So there's that guy there. Is there any more things in here? Should we just like bust in the window? Probably not. Not with him there. I think I need backup and gear and not die <laughs> and run for my life. Oh no! Oh my gosh! There's more dangers here than there was at the mansion. 
it did just pass through from nighttime to daytime, but heck, this is creepy. And I almost died. I went down this cave thing, and there was a creeper that exploded, and then a skeleton was trying to shoot me in the face, and yeah, I almost, almost died. Got away with like one heart. So I wanted to go caving to find better gear to go take on that mansion. And I found a few caves. There's this one, it's like a drop down cave right by the village. But then there was this one that I saw a bunch of guys coming out of. Ooh, is that enough string to make a bow? Yes. I want Evo. I'm getting too confident with my Optifine torches and running around in caves when I really should be putting torches down. It's a bad thing. I'm very good at that. But there is lots of coal everywhere, so I just need to go chop down more trees. And I can have a few more torches. I'm also collecting some eggs because I need a reliable source of food. If I'm going to take on that mansion. Four chicken pizzas are not going to cut it. I need more, more pizzas. Definitely more pizzas. And this iron is going to come in handy. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to start a new world and not have an iron farm and not have any iron and just be like trying to survive and not be, not have everything you need. But one of the first things I'm definitely going to make is an iron farm. It always seems to be the best thing to do. And with that village right there in side of the spawn chunks, it'll always be loaded. It'll be nice. It'll really come in handy. And I won't have this problem and I'll have all the armor I would ever need. Running around in these caves well, with like only having one torch left over has given me an idea for a challenge. Like a personal challenge. And I think that is, I'm going to go caving and do all my mining with just one torch. I'm not going to put down any torches anywhere I go. I'm just going to go around and use this one torch, find my way. Maybe I'll leave a torch if I find diamonds that I can't pick up yet. But I'm just going to run around with this one torch. I'll light up the areas around me to keep it safe, but yeah, just mining and branch mining and caving and such. Because I like to get lost in the caves. It's fun to just lose your way, have to find your way out. But having the torches like in the town is good because, you know, this is my safe area. Eventually this will be like in a bubble because I'm thinking like science lab stuff where things are in a bubble, but this would be pretty good. Let me know if that's a crazy challenge or if you think I'm going to die. I do predict that I'll probably die a few times, which I believe some of you will be happy about, but who knows? This is the cave I was down earlier with the skeleton, so let's go see if we can kick its butt. I had to zoom up this waterfall with like eating some food and I'm not sure if it's dead yet. Oh, it's gone. Okay, it must have despawned, but whoa. Hello? Lots of coal, lots of iron. That's good. I'll look around here and see if there's anything good and how far down this actually goes. This place looks pretty nice. It's down this long tunnel. It's at level 12. Really well lit with lots and lots of lava. Like, lots of lava. I think there's lava over here as well. There was a skeleton and some zombies. Also, we're in extreme hills, so there are lots of emeralds about. Which would come in handy for, you know, villagers. I think you need a iron pick for that. I did pick up some iron, but I don't have any wood. <laughs> I forgot to make an iron pick when I picked up that iron. It would have come in handy, because I also have gold. I have, like, other stuff. No diamonds yet. Well, like I guess the other stuff is just gold. Uh, let's see. Do I have the bucket of water? I don't. I must have put that down somewhere. Let's just make a pathway. Will this fall? That will fall. So let's make a pathway across the lava and see what else is past here. Lots of gold. Another skeleton somewhere. Here's me. More lava. I don't know about past this lava if there's anything good. Take a look. 
I feel like the skeletons is over here. I don't see anything bad. That would have been a good lava trip. Oh, hey. Oh, can you get me a record? No? No record for me? Fine. You don't like music, do you? What about up here? So feeling that was the skeleton that we were hearing. Oh, there's one there. This would be a good time to have a shield, I feel like. Oh, there's two! Oh boy, that could have been disastrous. Let's retreat just a bit and eat some food. There's some gravel that's floaty right there. And I'm out of food, so food means that it's time for me to leave. Though curiosity is going to get the best of me and I'm going to keep going down this pathway to that room. And now we are leaving. We are leaving and retreating and getting some food. And that iron. This isn't good. I don't know if this is a dead end, but there was a lot of guys right there when I came back up that crossed that pathway. Oh boy. Not good. Hopefully you don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh. Oh no, my sword! <laughs> uh, I have no other sword. Get pickaxe, man. You got pickaxe to the face. And hopefully there's nothing else. Oh, hi. Oh, boy. Boom, boom. Came up this ladder. Booms in my face. And I have no food. And there's another one. Oh, my gosh. They are everywhere. Definitely need to grab that extra sword I've been hanging on to. And is it daytime? Am I safe? It is. There is some light. That torch right there is a torch that I placed in my frantic uh, scramble up this water while trying to eat and not die when that skeleton was shooting at me before. So let's see. Also, apparently I got another bow, or I got a bow, as I was going along and killing some skeletons. So that's nice. I can go and use my feathers and flint and sticks and make some arrows and be a little bit more protected than I was. And I think I cooked some food. Yes, thank you, past me. Here, let's cook up that iron as well. And get the emergency sword. Well, the not emergency, really. More of a backup sword. Get some arrows. Oh, I could have defended myself that whole time. The more you know. I have been kind of busy. And you'll see some changes around here. Like, there's some puppers. There's a few puppers. They're kind of spread out because they help me fight the baddies at nighttime. But there's a few there, there's one here, there's some over by the chickens. There's some of the houses are gone. There was a major update since that last cut. But here's my chicken coop. It's not that great, but it collects the eggs, and then I just go and chuck the eggs back into the pit. Or I feed them some seeds and try and get some chickens. They never seem to hatch. But this house is gone as well. There was also a fun time of dropping down that way. I kind of did a stream in between the cuts, and we had a lot of derpy fun. There is a new thing around that is called the Death Notes. So here's the Death Notes, and it keeps track of how I die. So, so far, I dug straight down and hit lava, burning out, burn ouchies, and then I failed a bow fight with a skeleton in a cave. So, two deaths so far for me, but the upside to all that mining and caving is all of this iron. Lots and lots of iron, lots of gold, even more iron there, lots of stuff. I have some in here, I have some gold in there. I could make golden apples. There's a lot of apples around, though that's not really a thing that's needed. I also have some challenges that I made up a little mini challenge board, both little things I want to do during this whole season. And one of them is to use a torch, one torch while caving. If you remember before, I was just caving with one torch, decided that this episode to do. And the other stuff is kill a creeper with a loaf of bread. Uh, only thing is, according to my texture pack, my loaf of bread will be a pizza base. So it'll just be a, a plain pizza with nothing on it because of the pizza texture pack I use. And then I have to keep all the granite. Granite is the block I hate the most. So I'm going to keep it all. It's so far in here. The board is made out of granite. I'm going to make it out of something better. Make it look more fancy. 
try and make it seem like I did more challenges, put like my personal challenges on one side, put the group challenges on the other. Those are coming. They'll show up soon. If you have any ideas for any group challenges, let us know. But I also have some cows up in that area. We have the villagers. Got a bunch of bunch of villagers. Been breeding them up over there. And then I come over here and I have them all just shoved out this way. Breeding them up quite a bit. I have a few librarians. There's this guy that has Feather Falling 1 for 9 emeralds. But there's also a guy down here that has Feather Falling, or Respiration 3 for 25. So they're a bit claustrophobic and a lot of uh, villagers, but they are so worth it. And when I can get like a villager training area up, that'll be nice. I don't know if I'll put one here or if I'll put one in the other village that I found, but I definitely am thinking of making an iron farm. So here is my villagers. They expanded their area. They've been having a little bit more babies. Every once in a while I'll just go and shove them into a the, uh, little waterway, take a water slide. This guy has Respiration 1 for 18. So the Respiration 3 guy is a lot better choice. But I'll see what other books that guy has. Because you got to keep them around. As for the mansion, I haven't gone back in it yet. I did go a little teeny bit to look around. But I'm planning on a next episode of being that whole episode is the mansion look through the rest of this episode we're just going to wander around maybe go see what is down in this direction which is south we haven't really gone south we went north and east and west but we have not gone south that is west that's where the mansion is there's a gigantic ravine here that's pretty cool and let me make sure did i have a bed yeah i have a bed wow Okay, nice ravine. I like this. I could see using this, making into this into something fun. Maybe some sort of fake mining area. Looks like there's like mine carts. I always think of ravines and mine carts. It's just a habit of mine. What do we have over here though? Might have some cool stuff. There's some horses. There's some sheep. I don't have any donkeys. That one donkey or two donkeys I found before, I haven't gone back to get them because I don't have any saddles for them. I'm tempted to go back and get them some point. Or maybe even save them up and make them mine, keep them safe. Can you breed donkeys? I think you can breed donkeys. So we got some birch over here. Chickens, stuff. Let's make a day and we can go journey on further. Those are some tall birch trees. What the heck? Is this like a fancy biome I've never been to? I don't remember birch trees ever being that tall. Though maybe they have. Maybe it's like some extreme hills, birch forest kind of dealy. It's kind of nice. I like the mountain thing. I could see something fancy going there. Like a bridge or something to join those both up. It's kind of cool. Let's go around the other side of the mountain and see what we can find. But look at those birch trees. They're gigantic. Very, very nice. Some dark oaks are all around. Some spruces are there too. Can we climb up this way? Yeah. Nice long pathway up here. Such a high mountain. I wonder what elevation this gets to. I'm guessing a hundred something, maybe like 120, 130 ish, maybe more like 120. Let's check. It is at 119, so pretty much 120. Very nice. What else do we got? We have some more jungle. Jungle? No. <laughs> it's just some oak trees. I wish I could have a jungle. Jungle would be nice. And maybe like a taiga biome would be pretty cool. I think a lot of the biomes are pretty close by in this world. Well, that's a neat peak. Let's go looking around all these gigantic trees. So tall. Let's go to the edge of that forest over there and see what we can find.
This has got to be the most interesting set of biomes I have ever seen. There is a swamp next to a plains, next to a forest, next to a dark oak forest with a swamp in the middle, next to a desert with the plains and a desert, and then there's snow with a dark oak forest on it. Look at the trees over there though. Those are some pretty trees. But this is possibly the weirdest biome set I have ever seen. I've never seen a desert so close to a swamp with dark oak so close by. It's just baffling. I wonder if there's anything good in that desert, like temples or villages. And as I say temple, I see a temple. So let's take a look on over at that temple. Also, tell me if you agree. That set of sand right there looks like a sphinx. I could totally see it. A little sphinx statue there would be kind of neat. I could totally see just making one or making it look like there's one there. It would be pretty fun. But I definitely want to go and look at this temple. I know I don't need the TNT, but just to see if there's any good books in there. Because sometimes they come up with some good stuff, like a mending book would be nice, or even just silk touch. And sometimes there's not any books at all. But we could get like golden apples or notch apple. Because now notch apples are the only found inside chests and stuff. Could get some good things. There is a village with that temple. Oh boy. And there is sand. Floaty, floaty sand. I really hope there's maybe some good villagers here. But I'm looking at this temple first. Let's get in here. Let's see what we can find. Let's see. Whoa! This is not good. How did it explode? It did just explode, right? I'm not losing my mind. Did it? Oh, it did. How? What? When? Why? Oh, was there just a hole down here and something fell on it? <gasps> oh boy. That's not good. This is the weirdest temple ever. Big old pit. No books for me. Sad. So sad. You tricky temple. There's some interesting villagers here. There's a librarian that has Depth Strider 3 for 13. Kind of like that. I might have to mark down where this one is and come back and do some trades. I feel like I'm going to do a lot of stuff with villagers, even though villagers are not my favorite thing. They are a big pain in the butt. Even just moving them, keeping them, taking care of them, they are a big, big, big pain in the butt. Also, I have no idea how that temple exploded. Maybe a villager got in there. That would be kind of bad. Whoa. Rip the bunny. All the floaty, floaty sand. There's a savanna with acacia and a ton of like sand and floaty sand. What is that? Look at that floaty sand. Wow, that's some special sand. This is crazy. And I only have three hearts, which is bad thing to run around with. Let's go look over at the savanna. Nice savanna, nice mountains. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty nice big desert. I can see demolishing this desert or parts of this desert for sand and glass reasons and concrete and all that good stuff. And I think off in the distance I see another village. That is crazy that there are so many villages so pretty much close together. And that is a nice, nice Bernie burn. Wow. Rip those trees. This village is pretty special. It has sugarcane supports. Got that natural feel to it. They have a little cleric jail. I haven't yet found a librarian, but hey, are you drowning someone? Feather falling four? Nice. I like the acacia doors. They look really nice. This is a very neatly placed village too. It's like sunken in and lots of water. It's like a little river town kind of thing. There's more 
savanna around here. Probably more desert off of that way. We can take a look over this ridge and then I think I'll head back to town. I think that might be it for today's episode. Definitely tune in to check out more exploration stuffs and to see that mansion. What is over there? Just more sand. It's an endless, semi-endless desert. It's pretty neat. It reminds me a lot of my frying pan world. I think the frying pan world had a lot of savannas and plains and deserts all mixed into one area. So it's very, very reminding me of that place. Just one last thing to look at before I go. Ice, ice, baby. Thanks for watching. See you later.